A lot of energy, gentleman doesn't have a lot of control over it, so we're going to work on him with the Martingale collar. Give it a couple minutes, and we're going to get him going real good. Now, there's nothing wrong with this dog, he's just energetic, and he doesn't know how to behave in a building like this. And we're going to work him and uh, get him controlled. Be around a little bit. Alright, we have a 95 pound black lab. Really kind of just leading the owner around quite a bit. Actually, the owner's not that much heavier than the, the dog. So we're going to put a martingale collar on this dog. We're going to control him. And we're going to show you real fast how it's done. All right, look, okay, what we have with the leash, you have a little grip here that you can keep a dog on a close heel like that if you needed to. You can correctly heel the dog at 24 inches. This opens to a three foot leash. This opens up again to a six foot leash. With this end, you can secure it to a wire fence in an emergency. You can secure it to a post or a tree. You can make an emergency slip collar. If the dog is manageable, you can put this around your waist and you can walk the dog hands free. And if you had two dogs, you can walk both at the same time. And the thing I like most about this, it's a six foot leash that shortens to three feet. From three feet, it shortens again to two feet. So now you never have to wrap it around your hands five times. And when you have a dog that pulls, this is where you want him. You want him on a short leash, okay? You want to get control of him instead of letting him control you. Okay, now the other thing it can do, you can slide this over your shoulder. So when you run your, with your dog off leash, you just take the snapbook in your pocket and your hands are free, but you still got immediate, immediately take it out and all. Let me show you the collar now, the Martin Gill collar. Now this is, this is an alternative to the chain choker. The advantage to the Martin Gill collar is, is that when you put it on, you cannot put it on wrong like you can a choke collar. It works the same way whichever way you put it on. It has a buckle. You adjust it so that it's the exact size of the dog's neck. Ideally, now bring your dog, what's your dog's name? Cooper. Cooper. Come here, Cooper. All right, just hold him there. We're gonna put this on Cooper. Come here. That's okay, that's okay. Come on. Cooper, sit. Hey, easy, easy. Okay, that's okay. Let me open it a little bit. Going to adjust it some. Going to keep it snug and keep it right here. Right, right high on his neck, just so you can get a few fingers underneath there like that, okay? Now what we're going to do, we're going to shorten the leash so that he doesn't have control over everything. Okay, now take your collar off. I'm going to walk him down here. Now what I'm going to do is just give him a little tug on it. It's going to get his attention and it's not going to hurt him but it's gonna let him understand that he's in, you're in control and not him, okay? So, heel, and see how I'm just giving him a little tug here? Heel, heel. Isn't he a different dog now? Yeah. Come on, give him a little tug when he needs it, not much, heel. See how I'm holding this here? Just give him a little pull right here. Now he's not pulling at all right now. Good boy. Okay, come on. Come here. Good boy. What a good boy. Now you can stay right here like this. Okay. Give me that. Now you, I want you to come down here. Okay. Come on, heel. Easy, just give him a little tug when he needs it. Now how, how about that, isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's, I don't gotta go far at all. Like, no, he's not pulling you, he's not dragging you yeah, around like he was. I got all cut up. Sometimes. Yeah, come on back. Come on. <clears throat> Just give him a little tug when he walks. There you go. 
Now I tell you, that's a different dog right there. Yeah, he's... Huh? Yeah, he's... Come. Come. Let's walk down here. Good boy. Give him a good boy. Hey. Good pet on the head. That's good. Okay. Now bring him around here. Now sit. Put him in a sit right there. Good boy. Let's bring him right, right around here. Now I want you to bring the collar up a little bit higher on his neck. Slide it up high. There you go. Okay. Now do it. walk down there. I want you to walk down yourself, okay? Okay. Good boy. Give him a little tug if you have to. Not, don't put pressure on a leash. Slack on the leash, and then when he goes to pull, you give a little tug back, okay? Okay. It's amazing how that dog responded to that. Go ahead and walk outside and come back in, okay? Hi. Okay. What do you think? I like it. Huh? I like it. See a difference in him? Yeah, he's, he's not pulling at me from the dogs. He's not making me chase him. My hands don't hurt. <laughs> it's amazing what a little thing like that can do for a dog like Cooper. And uh, any other comments or? Uh, I love it. <laughs> it's so much better than the leash, the leash I was using and the collar itself. Just and what do you think about it compared to harnesses and stuff? Um, I like it. I, I think the harness is still pulled and I had to really give him a tug. This, I just, it's a nice little pull and he comes right back to me. Sounds great. Okay, great. Thank you.